Hey guys, what's up? Exo Vendetta here. Today I got a uh, video game theory for you. I don't really do this a lot on my channel. This is like the first one I've ever done. But if you enjoyed it, then uh, leave a like and I'll probably do more in the future. Um, but anyway, I wanted to cover this game because in one of the campaign missions I picked up on a skeleton with an iron helmet on with horns and an uh, arrow in its knee. And it reminded me of the meme that was talked about a long time ago on the game called Elder, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. If you guys aren't familiar with that, that was an old uh, game from Bethesda, the same people who made Doom. And um, it was a really great game and a huge hit. And uh, this, this little meme, this little Easter egg in the game, really sparked an idea in my head. And you guys can comment down below if you think I'm overthinking or if you agree with it. And you can also tell me if there's any points that I might have missed, too, or anything I, you could correct me on in the story. But here's my theory, and it's going to relate to some other games, too, of Bethesda, uh, including Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. <clears throat> now, starting off, the theory goes with Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was right before Skyrim came out. That was a few years before that game came out. It came out around, the, I think, a year before or a year after Fallout 3 came out. And these are all games by Bethesda, by the way. Um, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was released back in 08, maybe 07, or 09, somewhere in those three years. And it was uh, about a character who was destined to, or born to close shut the jaws of oblivion. And that sentence right there that I just said, the reason I said it like that was because that's exactly how the Emperor, in the beginning of the game that helped you escape from prison, said to you is that you have to close shut the jaws of Oblivion. Well, <clears throat> Oblivion is hell. And in the game Oblivion, you actually go to hell, which is Oblivion in the game. That's what they call it. And in Oblivion, you have to go in there and kill this lord or something, and you actually have to shut the jaws. You have to close all the gates in the chambers and fight the demonic army at presence. And in the game... It actually shows you like um, the world and the universe and it actually looks just like the hellish universe on Doom. Now if you ever played the campaign on Doom, uh, the new Doom that came out this year, 2016, I think it was, or late 2015. Um, I'm not good on remembering when games come out, sorry, memory. But um, what I will say is, it looks just like that universe. If you go back to that game, if you still have it on console on your old gen, check it out. And I think that that may uh, hint that these worlds are collided. And you may think that that's still not enough evidence. Well, I got more, so wait. Now, in the end of the game, you close shut the jaws of oblivion. You get your destiny fulfilled. But, Emperor, the Emperor explains, though, that it happens every 1,000 years. Or every, I don't remember the amount he said. But, it happens every now and then. And every He said every now and then, a person is born to shut the jaws of oblivion. They always reopen. Because evil always, you know, survives. And, um, in the game, uh, you close shut the jaws of oblivion. And you save the day, yippee. But, there's a twist. Because in Elder Scrolls... Five Skyrim, so we're going up a little bit, um, Skyrim actually had a guard in the game that when you'd walk by, um, I think it was in a place called River Run or something like that, I don't know if that's the name, don't, sorry, memory problems, anyway, uh, in the game there would be like these little kingdoms and they were called holds and there was like eight or nine of them in the game and one of them that you'd, White Run, that's what it's called, White Run. And in White Run, there would be guards that would uh, you'd walk by or just walk by you. They'd stop and look at you and say, "I used to be a warrior like you once, until I took an arrow to the knee." Now that popular slash annoying meme skyrocketed for a while, and then for a, after a few days to a month, it kind of died down. It got old quick. Um, but nonetheless, it was a meme, and I think uh, when they made the game Doom and put this uh, Easter egg in there, it wasn't to hint as a joke at, you know, the um, old, old classic meme, because they knew it got old. What I think they were trying to say is that this universe is exactly the same as Elder Scrolls. This hell in Doom is the same hell that's in Elder Scrolls. Now, check out this clip so you know.
now that you know what I'm talking about, this is the mission that I was on when I discovered the uh, skeletal remains of what I think is the Dragonborn. Yeah, I don't think it was just an Easter egg, guys. I think this could actually be proof, actual proof, sorry, of the existence of the Dragonborn in the Doom universe, and let alone the Elder Scrolls universe colliding with it. I think that these universes have collided, and I think that the character you play as in Doom is the new Chosen One, basically, is what I'm saying. Not the Dragonborn, you know, because he's not there to kill the dragons, but he's the Chosen One from the Oblivion series. And I honestly do believe that, you know. I think that this guy is one of the Chosen Ones, because in the game Doom, even that robot talks about how you could be the chosen one to close the gates of hell, right? Well, hell and oblivion are the same meaning. It's hell. It's it's the underworld, you know, the demon realm. I mean, there's no way else to, you know, no way else to explain it. I mean, it's common sense. So, what I'm thinking is this is proof and evidence that Bethesda has already hinted that these universes are the same and in the same category. And here's another thing you guys need to think on. If you go back to Elder Scrolls Skyrim, you'll remember that at the end of the game, you can replay certain missions for the Brotherhood, you know, or all that, that Assassin's Guild and all that, but they never explain what happens to the Dragonborn. He doesn't die at the end of the game, even though no main character really dies in a lot of games. But just think about that, though. This skeleton on this game on Doom could have explained what happened to the Dragonborn. Maybe he didn't make it. And maybe the twist of events is this is why there's a new chosen one. Either you make it or you don't, but at the end of the day, there's always going to be a chosen one. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But comment down below what you guys think. And as always, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Twitter, Instagram links in the description below. Don't forget again, comment your opinion. Anything I missed, comment. As always, hope you enjoyed. XO out.